As the protests across the United States show no sign of ending, the world continues to watch. But could there be signs that these mass demonstrations are already affecting change? The four men who arrested George Floyd have now all been charged. Critics, though, are concerned about the speed in which the process has taken place. Protesters are pleased with what they see as the beginnings of justice. Former President Barack Obama has struck an optimistic tone. I hope that you also feel help, hopeful, even as you may feel angry because you have the power to make things better and you have helped to make the entire country feel uh, as if this is something that's got to change. Whilst Barack Obama feels encouraged, President Trump faces more criticism. James Mattis, his former defense secretary, has been scathing about the president's attempts to use the military to tackle the demonstrations, even accusing the president of violating the constitution and dividing the nation. President Trump called the former general overrated. As the protests continue, organizers are mobilizing. In less than a week, one legal organization in Minnesota has raised more than $30 million, providing legal aid to arrested protesters. The fact that people from all over the United States and all over the world have collectively come together, over 900,000 individual donations so far, to say enough. We, we have finally had this breaking point where we've got to do something. In an atmosphere of protest, tensions have been raised. Spot the guns being held here on the left. But despite the atmosphere, important voices continue to speak out. I wanted to say the right thing, and I was really nervous that I I wouldn't or that it would get picked apart and I realized the only wrong thing to say is to say nothing. And so as the crowds continue to gather right across the United States, protesters are now asking, what next? Warren Nettleford, 5 News.